Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at Unmatched. Unmatched is a two-player game published by Restoration Games. In this game, you're going to play as iconic characters or different IP characters or characters from literature or just whatever. And you are going to fight to the death with one victor. Now, this one is gonna be Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf, but the more little sets of these you get, the more you can mix and match them, use different boards, and do all sorts of cool things. Let's go ahead down to the table. I'm gonna show you what comes with this one and just give you a general uh, overview of how to play Unmatched and what this um, set adds. And then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so this is an unmatched. This is Beowulf versus Little Red Riding Hood. In this game, you're going to get your own little deck uh, that is custom for each player. Each player is going to have a main character and a sidekick. So this is the miniature for uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And this is the miniature for Beowulf. The miniatures are really cool, and they have this like black wash on them. That's really nice. You're going to set the starting positions as shown here, but your sidekicks can technically go into any region uh, that you have, uh, that you're in. So in this case, the sidekick could go anywhere that uh, has this color here or the yellow, but there's a door that's closed, so I can't see those. So he can go anywhere along here, uh, where this one can go anywhere in the orange areas. Once I have that set, we're ready to start. Each player is going to draw five cards. The name of this game is you're going to try to get down to your opponent down to zero health, mainly the main character. The sidekick getting knocked out doesn't end the game, but the main character can. And you have these really cool dolls to mark that. On your character sheet right here, you're going to see uh, the starting health for the main character and the starting health for the minion. Also, you're going to see how much movement it has. Both of these have moved too, uh, which is pretty good. And there's two different types of attacks in this game. There's going to be ranged and melee. Uh, we'll go over both of those in a second, but you have two actions on your turn. You're going to have your five cards. You can then maneuver, scheme, or attack, and you can only do... Uh, up to two of those, or up to two actions, and you can do some of them multiple times if you want to. Uh, you have a hand limit of seven, and you don't traditionally draw cards. I'm gonna show you how that goes uh, in a second, but once you go over seven, you have to start discarding them. And each character has sort of like a unique way of doing combat that you have to get used to, so they're very asymmetric characters. Uh, but we're just gonna go over the general rules. The action of maneuver, uh, when you take the maneuver action, you first draw from the top of your deck here. So I draw the top card of my deck, and then I can move my fighter. I always have to draw from the top of the deck. Uh, I will lose a damage every time I can't draw from that deck, so I want to make sure that I keep my deck going here. Uh, so the draw card is mandatory, and if you go over 7, you need to discard down. Technically at the end of your turn, so you can have over 7 until then. Uh, so that's... Uh, going to be the first part of maneuver. The second part of maneuver is then I can move my fighter. So my fighter has a move of two, so I can move two. I can spend a movement to open this door and go in here. I can spend a movement to close the door, which is pretty cool. All right, not all the boards have that, by the way. Each board's a little different with each of the fighters on there. Um, that is the maneuver action. Now I get to move both of them, so I can move this guy and my sidekick. So that's maneuver. So yeah, so the next action you can do is going to be scheme. If I scheme, I'm looking for cards with this little lightning bolt. The character listing on here has to be not knocked out, and that is the target. So I have to say this is going to be a little red hiding hood, and I'm going to fire off the action here. Now, one thing I'll mention is little red riding is a little different. She fires off based on what's in the basket, so that's what's in your discard pile. It starts off with this icon right here, so that means that this would fire off, place Little Red Riding Hood on any space and gain one action. But if, let's say, this card was discarded and in there, I would have gained, I would have draw three cards. If we would have had this card discarded, I would have got uh, deal two damage to each opposing fighter in Little Red Riding Hood's space. So for Little Red Riding Hood in particular, you're trying to uh, manage this basket. Uh, for Beowulf, you're trying to manage 
these rage tokens and you can have up to three and you can spend them to do extra damage or really cool stuff but you're going to be managing rage tokens for him um, but that is basically the scheme action so you get to play one of those and once it's played it goes into the discard pile after it's resolved another thing to turn out or um, another thing to bring up is when you're doing your maneuver you can discard this card for the value that's right here to make you move more. So if I discard this card while I'm doing maneuver action, I'd have two plus two, four spaces that I could go. There's other cards that let you boost things uh, with this, but in general, that's the only thing you can do with it. Uh, some cards will let you break the rules and use that to help boost your attack and stuff. So then we get into your last action that you can do, and the last action you can do is attack. So in the attack action, you're going to declare target. Uh, if you're doing a, so let's move people around, if you're doing a melee attack, they have to be adjacent from each other. If you're doing a range attack, they have to be in the same uh, area. So since this has the half moon gray here, half moon gray, half moon gray, there it's in range. If I was here, this would be in range. Um, that's how range works. So it's super simple. Now there's two sides to this board just thrown out there. This one's a little easier because it's very uh, straightforward coloring for the different areas on the board. The other side is more uh, of, uh, looks better, uh, but in, in and around the ring has the colors instead of in the ring. But that's the only difference really between these two boards, and that's how you do range or adjacent. Well, how do you do your attacks? Well, you're gonna take a look at your cards, and your cards, you can have a couple different ones on here. They're gonna have attack and defense. Uh, so some of them, uh, can be used for attack and defense, like these guys right here. Let's see if I have, this one's only defense. This one's only attack. Um, and let's see, that's for the Huntsman. Uh, it has to be for the agent that you have. So in this case, Little Red Riding Hood. So this says Little Red, this can be any of them, uh, but some of them are just for your, uh, your henchmen. Uh, like, uh, let's see, unfiltered rage, huntsman, that can only be used by the huntsman, stuff like that, that wasn't even an attack card, here's the huntsman attack card, uh, but anyway, so let's say uh, I'm going to select this card, I'll put it face down, now my opponent can look at their cards, and they can see if they have any defense cards, and they can put one down, so I'm going to say two defense, any. So that can be any character. It also has to be for the right character. If it isn't, you couldn't use it. You're both gonna flip these over and resolve what they say. So immediately cancel all effects of your opponent's card. So the card, uh, this also immediately cancels all effects of your opponent's card. So both cards effects are uh, eliminated. I have three, they have two defense. It's gonna take one damage. That's really simplified how that actually works there. Um, couple nuancey rules for that. Uh, we'll go over here real quick. Uh, the defender is not required to choose a defense card. So just keep that in mind. You may not want to choose a defense and just take damage because you're running low on cards or whatnot. You just want to make sure that you have enough for whatever you're going to do next turn. That's fine. Those versatile cards I showed you, they can be attack or defense. So you can keep that in mind. You do have to pay attention to the player that are allowed to be using it. So either attack or defense has to allow that to happen. You can have a couple different effects that happen. You can have immediate, you can have during or after combat. Immediate happens before anything really happens. It just immediately happens, so we cancel text on there. Uh, the during happens during the combat phase, and after combat happens after damage is assigned. Uh, the result, the effects of after combat, even if the fighter is defeated, still occur too, so you want to keep that in mind. Uh, if you defeat the main character of the opposing player, you win the game. If they defeat yours, they win. If you defeat a minion, doesn't matter. That minion just can't do anything. It's off the game. But uh, And there's some, uh, some expansions you can get that will uh, change that. So that's how you play and that's how you win the game in a really quick nutshell for Unmatched. The meat of the games are in the special rules. Like I said... Um, the big mechanic for Little Red is going to be uh, this uh, basket. When you're discarding cards, it's going to constantly change what you can use on your other cards if they have triggers on there. So you're going to need to pay attention to your basket a lot 
with little red uh, in there. And like here's this, this is if these are in the basket, this, if I play this attack card and I have that in my basket, I get an additional bonus. So you're gonna wanna be looking at specifically what cards you're going to be playing. Uh, you can notice also in general that um, Little Red uh, has, is a pretty versatile character. Uh, the Huntsman has all attack, but Little Red has a good balance of defense and attack. She's pretty good at defending herself, and when she hits, it's not normally very hard. Uh, there's some exceptions, like, some exceptions like this one, uh, but um, in general, uh, you're going to be doing your heavy hitting with your huntsman with this deck. Now you will notice that there is a um, this symbol here. So this symbol here, I didn't mention. If that's in your basket, it's any symbol. So I was wrong in the beginning. Uh, this is any symbol to start. So I could have picked anything from that I wanted. But once I start discarding these, then that's the symbol. And that's Little Red. Beowulf, on the other hand, is crazy. Um, if you look at Beowulf, um, he has a lot of things here. He has some pretty heavy attacks. So he's, he's big on attack, and he has some pretty big defenses in here. Um, but... Yeah, he's, he's mainly going to be uh, focusing all in and around this rage and spending rage to do extra damage and doing all these things. He can spend any amount of rage, choose a different effect for each rage spent. So while I'm gathering them up, I can draw two cards, move Beowulf up to four spaces, recover two health. So if I have up the three rage, which is my max, I can do three of those things, which is amazing. Um, some uh, like uh, this one here, no uh, context, it expeth. So after combat, uh, this is after combat battle, if you attacked uh, a sidekick and won the combat, you may spend three rage to defeat the sidekick automatically, just dead, no matter what damage is left on them. So that's really cool. So Beowulf has some pretty big hits that all uh, go around getting and losing the rage. So you're going to be balancing that resource with him throughout the game. So, like I said, there's a ton of different unmatched games, so it all plays a little differently, but that's a little sneak peek on how these play. Uh, I sort of like the little red with the, the basket. Um, I don't know if she's my favorite fighter, but I'm getting used to that. And Beowulf is just more straightforward, so I'd say Beowulf is pretty good for new players. But, that isn't just as how you play unmatched. Let's go ahead back up the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, I like unmatched. I really, really like unmatched. I think it is an amazing system in here. So with that said, and the component quality is great. Restoration Games did a great, great job with this whole unmatched system. Component quality is great. You get a really good components for the price that you pay. And it's really great in general anyway. Uh, and like the little miniatures that you get on there, like everything about unmatched. It's a really good, fast paced, two player competitive game, skirmish game. It's just amazing. So getting past that, what do I think about the two characters that come in this compared to maybe some of the other sets? Now there's some that I, well, I mean, this Beowulf I like a lot. So I like Beowulf a lot. I like that rage thing going with Beowulf and I like how uh, the synergy with the different cards. Um, Little Red Riding Hood's fine, not my favorite, but it's fine. I can see where a lot of people would like it a lot. I just don't like that basket mechanic where I have to pay attention to the one that's on top as much. Um, I'm more, I guess I'm not like a uh, delicate player. I just go in and just need to bash things. So um, Beowulf is much, uh, much uh, more up my alley. I also like Alice, uh, which is from a different set, just because she can get um, big or small with offensive defensive like that one a lot. So overall, I really like this set. Uh, I like the doors that can be in there. You can shut the door. Uh, that's a pretty cool mechanic or open it again. I like, so I like the player boards that come on this. I like the zones, how they're laid out on it. Really good expansion. Um, if you're, if you like Unmatched, you're going to like this expansion. Uh, if you've never been played Unmatched, you couldn't get this and it's standalone and you don't need to get anything else if you don't want. And you can play a excellent balanced two-player game. You're probably gonna become addicted if you like it and want to get 
they expand the universe and get more of these sets, which is perfectly fine. Um, this is just one that I uh, would recommend. Uh, I probably put it in the middle for what I think about the different characters that you can get in this series as of now. So that's my thought on Unmatched uh, Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf. Thank you for watching.